everyone, my name is Alvina, and if you haven't been here before, hello, hi, and if you have, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a Demon Slayer look inspired by Mitsuri Kanroji, probably butchered her name. And she's one of the main Hashiras that has showed up in this season. Here is the look. It's gonna be very minimal, just like some pinks and greens, and then like that heart kind of thing on the side on the eyeliner. That was inspired by this image. It was actually my boyfriend who was watching Demon Slayer and said like it was great and all and seemed really excited about it. Um, we weren't dating at the time, but when he mentioned it, I was like, oh, well, I guess we could try watching it together. And this was at like the height of COVID, so we're watching it online. I wasn't really like expecting anything watching Demon Slayer at first, because I, I didn't really know what it was. I knew it was very popular and a mainstream anime that came out, but that's like about it. <laughs> I actually ended up liking it a lot, but going in, not really reading any summaries or anything, I think it was a very shocking shocking first episode, starting with the first season. I did not expect everything to get so dark like within the first episode, like that was crazy to me. I Overall, I do like the storyline because I like how each character, even like the villains, are given their own storylines and how they got to where they were and they can get really sad, like it's a very emotional anime which I wasn't really expecting. There's a lot of really depressing topics and even for the villains, you can kind of see if things just turned out slightly differently, they might have been like a demon slayer or like a good person instead. They just were in the wrong place at the wrong time and things like that. Just a side note, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk because I want the pink to go on better. I'm using pink eyeshadow instead of my signature pink gel liner so I like, it's harder for the colors to show without this step, I feel like. I find it really interesting because uh, Demon Slayer does kind of give every single character a different motivation. It's not very common for characters to not have like some sort of tragic backstory. <laughs> And I feel like the storylines can be very intense sometimes. I think Demon Slayer is one of the only animes that I've watched really where I'm watching like episode by episode right now for the release. Yeah, I feel like their storyline is pretty good. I don't think this is too much of a spoiler because it literally happens in the first episode. It's just like the main villain that I totally did not forget the name of. Having all of the upper six demons to um, meet together. That animation sequence was so cool in my opinion of like all the rooms. It reminds me if you've ever played Pokemon Platinum where you have to find like the, the last area where you have to find Giratina, the legendary Pokemon in that game. It looks like you can constantly get lost and none of the floors connect to each other. I just thought like that idea was really cool the way it zooms through the rooms and whatnot. Just letting you know, I'm using the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette and I'm going to be using this pink right here. Anyways, another point on the animation. I really do like each of the Hashira's breathing techniques, how, or not even just the Hashira's, I mean, the main squad where you have Zenitsu, Inosuke, and Tanjiro. I do really like their abilities. It's kind of jokes. I've seen like memes about how if they didn't animate it the way that they did, it would literally be just people whacking swords and breathing breathing really deeply. <laughs> But I honestly think it's so cool because some of those abilities are wild. I, I loved when Tanjiro used his like water type of breathing and I really like his sun dancing, fire dancing. Oh god, I'm like a fake fan, don't worry about it. But yeah, I really like those abilities. Again, interrupting, saying I'm using the NYX Ultimate palette and using this darker green because Mitsuri's ends of her hair is a slightly green color. Anyways, her ability, I think it's called like love breathing or something. It sounds pretty jokes in my opinion, but I think she makes it look pretty cool. And her sword is like the biggest plot twist of the century because that thing literally looks like a whip. I don't understand. So I'm going to put on the Clio So Sharp So Simple liner first. It's a nice pencil liner and I just want to outline a better angle <laughs> before I go in with a more permanent eyeliner. A tip that I have for drawing these types of eyeliners is to make sure that your hand is resting on your face to make it as stable as possible. My other tip is to go all the way at once, like in a single stroke. 
And my last tip is to try to keep your eyes open as in a resting position when you do this because you don't want... Next, I'm going in with the Shake Your Pom Poms, the pink color again, and just gonna fill in the heart with it with a very thick eyeshadow brush to make sure it's very heavy. And then I'm going to go with the Jumbo Eye Pencil again and just putting in like a highlight on the heart for fun. To make sure that the green shows better, I'm just going to go in again with it. I want to use the lighter green but because a lighter green is a shimmer it's hard for it to show on your eyes especially when you're doing a more detailed look so i'm gonna go with a very heavy blush first before i put on the whole thing that she has going on so this is the glossier liquid blush cloud paint in dusk it's one of my favorites the thing is about the cloud paint is that color that i have is very peachy orange so i'm gonna go in with the chanel pink blush it's a powder blush that I've had for a very long time because it's my mom's. All right, to finish off the main part of the look, I'm going to put on the two moles underneath the eyes and try to make it as even as possible. I'm gonna put on a bit of the under eye sparkle because it's one of my favorite parts of the Physicians Formula palette. So I'm thinking of looking into some other shimmers that I can try out. I tried the ROM and one, but I don't really like how it looks on me, so Add a bit on the nose. I put on lip balm off camera and I'm going to be going in with the Flora Tint by Benefit. I usually use my fingers to blend out the lip tint, but today we are gonna try something different and use a Q-tip because I saw it on TikTok and I realized that that was a very smart idea that I hadn't thought of yet. So I added like a slight sparkle right on top and then I'm going to use the niche lashes. I always use these without glue on camera only because I don't really want to waste them. Number 25, I can't really find it in Canada anymore. The only thing is that I do feel like lashes can really complete a look and make my eyes look bigger. Obviously, if you are going to wear part of this look out at all, you should put on the lash glue before you put on the falsies because it doesn't stay for very long if you don't do that. I'll finish off the look off camera. All right. So I don't really have a look that looks exactly like Mitsuri, unfortunately, but here's the closest that we've got. I just put a shirt over the black turtleneck. Anyways, I hope you like the makeup look. Let me know if you want to see more like this. It would be fun to do all of the Demon Slayer characters as a makeup look. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you watch Demon Slayer and what you think of the most recent season. My only complaint about it so far is that it's a bit hard to keep track of. There's a lot of things that are happening at the same time and they keep jumping between characters and I feel like that can sometimes be a bit hard to follow along or slightly annoying for me but then I also do like to hear about each of the characters so it's a situation. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and come back next week if you want to see more content and please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you again. Bye bye now!